Hello, I'm James and this is Maths Kitchen. In today's video, I'm looking at solving equations graphically. So we're going to be using graphs to solve equations. So I go through quite a few questions and I'm showing those on screen there. So if you want to just jump to the particular question type that you need help with, please do so. Uh, what I'd recommend you do is probably watch me go through the first question because I go into that in a little bit more detail and then jump to whichever bit you need or just watch the whole video through. And I try to make each question so that you could just watch that on its own and that would help you out. If you want to practice some of these questions, head over to my website, mathskitchen.com. Again, I'll put a link below and you can practice all the stuff that I'm doing in this video today. Right, let's look at the first question. The diagram shows part of the graph of y equals x squared minus 6x add 6, and we're being asked to use the graph to find estimates of the solutions to the equation x squared minus 6x add 6 is equal to 0. And when you're doing this, all you have to do is read off what the x coordinates are when you are at 0 on the y axis. In other words, those two points there, okay, 0 on the y axis is essentially that's what your x axis is. Okay, and you just read those two off. If I zoom in a bit there, you can see that that first one, it looks to be, what, about 1.25, something like that. And the second one looks to be about 4.72, I would estimate. Um, but with this, the way this works, and the way it works in an exam, is that there's some leeway for, you know, you don't have to be absolutely perfect. So in an exam, typically, they would accept for that first one anywhere between one2 and 1.3 and for that second one they would accept anywhere between 4.7 and 4.8. The diagram shows part of the graph of y equals x squared minus 6x add 7 and by drawing a suitable line use the graph above to find approximate solutions to the equation x squared minus 6x add 7 is equal to 3. So both of those equations have x squared minus 6x add 7. The first one we're given, that we've been given the graph of, is telling us that y is equal to x squared minus 6x add 7. And then in the question below, it's saying that x squared minus 6x add 7 is equal to 3. Well, if you think about the logic of combining those two, if y is equal to x squared minus 6x add 7, and if x squared minus 6x add 7 is equal to 3, that must mean that y is equal to 3. So what we need to do is to draw a line at 3 on the y-axis. In other words, we're going to draw the line of y equals 3. And we're going to do that. If I just click any two points where y is 3, then we go and it will draw that line in for us. So that's the first part of the question, in fact, is just to draw the line. Once you've plotted those two points, if you think you've made a mistake, it's not a problem. You can just drag them about to correct yourself. And so to find the approximate solutions, all we have to do is read off where we are on the x-axis where those two lines intersect. Now, if you're doing this with pen and paper, you would, you would draw that first line on, and then you could use a ruler. You could draw a second line on or just use your ruler to read off where you are on the x-axis. If you're doing this with the Maths Kitchen website, you can click on that point there and you can see you get those orange lines and that will show you. You can then zoom in a bit and you can see where you are on the x-axis. That looks like something like 0.76 to me. And then we can do the same over here. If I click on there, we see we get that orange line. That looks to be, I would say, something like 5.22. Um, so I'll put those in, but as is always the case with these and will be the case in the exam, there's, there's some leeway for, you know, if you might have misread it ever so slightly. So typically, for example, for this one, it would accept anywhere between 0 0.7 and 0 0.8 for that first question and 5.2 and 5.3, something like that for the second part of the question. So the diagram shows part of the graph of y equals x squared minus x minus 2. And by drawing a suitable line, use the graph above to find approximate solutions to the equation x squared minus x minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, so those two equations are slightly different, aren't they? But what we could do, we could manipulate that the second equation so that it looks the same as that first one. So x squared minus x minus 2. And here we've got x squared minus x. 
So that's very similar. The only difference is the constant, that number on the end. So if we added 1 to both sides, then we've got x squared minus x minus 2 is equal to 1. So that x squared minus x minus 2 is clearly the same as we've got in that first part. So if we say that y is equal to x squared minus x minus 2, and down here we're saying that x squared minus x minus 2 is equal to 1, from that we could deduce that y is equal to 1, and so if we just draw the line of y is equal to 1, and I just click any two points there, if you're using the Maths Kitchen website to practice this, there we go, that's the line of y equals 1, and all I've got to do, I can click again, and then I can read off where we are on the x-axis. So that looks like approximately minus 1.3 to me, and then if we click on the second one, that looks like well, about 2.3, something like that. And as ever, you've got some scope for, you know, you get some leeway here if you're not 100% precise. And that, that's the same as you would get in the exam. The diagram shows part of the graph of y equals x squared minus 2x, add 1. And then we're being asked by drawing a suitable line, use the graph above to find approximate solutions to the equation x squared minus 2x add 1 is equal to x add 2. So they've both got this x squared minus 2x add 1, but the equation underneath is saying that it is equal to x add 2. All we've got to do is to draw the line of x add 2 onto our graph, um, and there are lots of different ways you could do that. I think I'm going to use my knowledge of y equals mx plus c. So if we think of it as y equals x plus 2, we know that it's going to pass through 2 on the y-axis, and it's, the gradient is 1, so every one unit it goes across, it's going to go up 1, so I could plot another point there, and there we go, we've got a nice straight line, and of course if you were using pen and paper you could use the exact same technique. All we need to do now is to look at those two points where our lines intersect. If you're using the website, you can just click there, you can see the orange line, and we can just read off where we are on our x-axis. looks like minus 0.3 to me. You know, I click over here, that looks to be about 3.3, I would say. The diagram shows part of the graph of y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3, and then by drawing a suitable line, use the graph above to find approximate solutions to the equation x squared minus 3x add 1 is equal to 0. So the two equations are quite similar, but they are different. What we're going to do is we're going to make that second equation look exactly the same as the first one. So I don't want it to be x squared minus 3x, I want it to be x squared minus 2x. So if I add x to both sides of this equation, then I get x squared minus 2x add 1 is equal to x. And then on the end, I don't want it to be add 1, I want it to be minus 3. So if I subtract 4 from that, I get x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to x minus 4. So we're being told that y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3. And then we're also saying that x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to x minus 4. If we draw the line of x minus 4, then we'll be able to solve this equation. So x minus 4, we know that that is going to pass through the y-axis at minus 4. And it's got a gradient of 1. It's just 1x. So go across one. I'm just going to click another point there and the, the site will fill in the rest of that line for me. If I've got a point wrong, I can just drag it and move it about like that. So you can see the two lines intersect here and if I click on that, that's going to show us where we are on the x-axis. It looks like about 0.38 to me. And then if I click on here, that will show me the other point. It looks like about 2.6 to me. And those two point are the approximate solutions to our equation. So I hope that all made sense and you understand it really well now. As I say, really helpful to practice and you can do that over at mathskitchen.com, link down below. If you found the video helpful, it would be really appreciated if you could do that good youtube -y stuff. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in another video.